I found some cool little things here at the back of the uh, Walnut Creek Steinway Gallery store. Uh, let's start off here with this box here. It's got the Steinway name on top, and these are custom woods that you can order your piano in. Here is one. It's called Black Cherry. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I like the color. Here's one of my favorites once I get this one back in. This is uh, Makassar Ebony Macassar. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it looks super cool. Look at this. It looks just awesome. There's also a different kind. Apparently they don't make this darker version anymore. They have this, but both of them look super cool. And uh, there's a couple of other ones too here uh, that I like. The rosewoods are nice. There's East Indian rosewood. I think it looks cool. Maybe not quite on a piano. Imagine that on a concert grand. That would be very unusual. But I think it looks really, really cool. And then there's also another one here. Santos rosewood. I think that looks neat too. So these are custom woods you could order your piano in. And uh, you usually don't see custom woods on pianos anymore. You usually just see satin or actually high gloss black now. Uh, but there's all kinds of cool colors. I'm not going to go through all of them, but they're cool. This here is another interesting thing. And um, it's definitely very old. You can tell by the really old Steinway logo there, as well as the wear on the wood. But what's interesting about this is it's a whipping from an action, but what's particularly interesting is it's got Teflon bits and pieces here. It's got little joints here that are made of Teflon. The little white circles here are made of Teflon. Obviously, if you were to buy a new piano, it would not come with Teflon. But back in the day, they used to use Teflon for a while until they realized that there were some, uh, some issues with that, and then they stopped doing it. But it's kind of cool, because these, these uh, action demos are pretty rare to have uh, Teflon parts in them. So I thought that was kind of cool that I found that, and it uh, looks pretty neat. Steinway originally came out with Teflon actions and uh, the Teflon bushings because they wanted to be innovative and try something new in the piano industry. And apparently the Teflon actions felt very nice, but eventually they would start making clicking noises and unfortunately Steinway had to discontinue them. But Steinway started the Teflon thing because they wanted to be innovative and to push the piano industry forward into a new era. So that's pretty cool. In fact, Steinway even started a trend with using Teflon parts because many piano companies and rebuilders and technicians today will use Teflon powders and fluids to help lubricate actions and make them play as well as they do today. Alright, here's a close-up of the, uh, the old Steinway Whippin with Teflon parts. You can see the little white circles there, those are the, uh, the bushings that have Teflon parts in them. And there's a third one down there at the end. And uh, it's kind of interesting, these, uh, these old Teflon action demos are pretty uh, hard to find. Um, but here's one, we have a full action demo. This is just a whipping, but it's kind of neat to see. And you can also tell that it's old because look at the old Steinway and stuff. This is the new one by comparison, but there's the old one. And uh, it's kind of neat. There's the, uh, the action demo. Pretty cool. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video of me hanging out at uh, Steinway of Walnut Creek. Uh, it was really fun. I got to play on cool pianos and find cool little things. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you can go ahead and like the video. Go to visit my channel, check out my content, and even think about subscribing if you want. I'll see you in the next video.